Hey, it's Tim, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Anyhill N1. Tiny little commuter scooter. I'm not sure if it'll get me up any hills because I'm a really big guy. It's not really designed for me. You know, it's designed for somebody a little bit lighter than me. And in fact, to that end, I'm actually gonna invite Melissa to give it a ride as well. But I'm gonna go for a ride around Victoria, share with you some numbers, share you my thoughts on the Anyhill N1. So the Anyhill actually sports a 350 watt motor that peaks out at 650 watts and and a 36 volt, 270 amp hour battery. So kind of a small battery, but so far so good. So folding this guy down is really simple. I'm gonna get most of it come really tight here. There's a little safety clutch there. This gets lowered and the whole device comes down and it locks into place at the back on a, with a clip. And now it's really pretty simple, about 27 pounds, real easy. And setup is just the opposite. Little clip at the back, straight up, it locks into place. This actually clasps nicely together and it's rock solid, it really is rock solid. Okay, let's talk about the handlebars. On the handlebars, we've got a regenerative braking. So that's kind of nice, so just engine brake on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have a mechanical brake. That breaks the rear throttle right up here. And a cute little bell. The display is really easy to read in the sunlight. And you can see I've been riding around for a little bit here and we've got about three quarters left of the, of the battery. So the max speed or the advertised max speed of the Annie Hill N1 is 16 miles an hour, which is what, about 25 kilometers an hour? And I can confirm that with this big guy on it, on a flat, flat road, no problem, it hits that 16 miles an hour. Thumbs up. So what do I like and what don't I like about the Anyhill N1? Well, I'm not a big fan of the battery size. I think the battery size is just a little bit too small. Um, the motor as well is probably a, bit, a little bit, it's, it's not powerful enough to get this big guy around. And I kind of knew that coming into it. They do have an N2. So it'd be really interesting to see the difference actually between the N1 and the N2. The N2 has a bigger battery and a bigger motor at the front. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that at some point in the future. What do I like? Well, I actually find the ride really nice. The eight and a half inch air inflated tires are very comfortable. The cute little light up top is great. The bell, all these people out today, it's crazy busy and crazy, crazy busy down here by the ocean. I think that's just because it hasn't been this warm for a long time. In fact, the, the snow is just starting to melt. The brakes, all three brakes. So you've got the brake at the front, you got the brake at the back, plus at the very back, you can push down on the, uh, on the uh, mud, guard thingy thing at the back, whatever you want to call this thing. You know what I mean. Uh, I like the digital display. Uh, it's light enough for me to carry, really easy for me to break down. And you know what, for an urban, little urban scooter, just getting you around to the store, getting you back down, I find this really, really handy. Um, yeah, thumbs up. For a cute little scooter, I like it. <laughs> 